All right, let's find this definite integral. Um, to do so, what we're going to need to do is use uh, u substitution method to accomplish this goal. So as we get going on this, we want to identify u as the inner function. So in this case, I'm seeing that x cubed minus 2 all raised to the second power. I'm going to use x cubed minus 2 as our u. Next up, let's go ahead and take the derivative of both sides here. So we get 1 du. On the right side, use that power rule, 3x squared. Derivative of 2 is going to be 0. We put a dx on this side. Next up, our substituting in, well, I see an x squared. I want to replace that. And I see a dx. I want to replace that. I don't see a 3 in this situation. Um, so let's move the 3 to the other side. So we got 1 third du equals x squared dx. That's either dividing both sides by 3 or multiplying both sides by a third. All right, next up, let's get to substituting it. So we have the integral. And instead of x cubed minus 2 raised to the 6th power, that's where we put our u. So we have u to the 6th power on the inside there. And then the 1 third du is going to replace the x squared and the dx. Well, I can put the 1 third out in front and I can put the du at the end. Next up are bounds of integration. We need to change these. Originally, 0 and 1, those were x values. Now we need them to be u values because we're dealing with u. So I'm going to go back to my let statement and you just substitute in there. So I'm going to plug in 1 for x minus 2. So it's going to be 1 minus 2 makes negative 1. And then for my lower bound, I'm going to plug in 0 to the third power minus 2. Works out to be negative 2. So lower bound is going to be negative 2. Now we've rewritten everything in terms of u. It's time to integrate. So we'll bring the 1 third along. We're going to use our power rule. So u, we increase the exponent by 1. So 6 plus 1 makes 7. And now we're going to multiply out in front by 1 over our new exponent. Our bounds, bring those along, negative 2 to negative 1. And this is really 1 21st u raised to the seventh power evaluated from negative two to negative one. We need to finish this up by actually plugging in those bounds. So we have one twenty-first multiplied by negative one to the seventh power. And from that, we want to subtract away one twenty-first multiplied by negative two to the seventh power. A little bit of simplifying down and we are almost there. Okay, so negative one to the seventh power, that's seven copies of a negative, that's gonna be a negative overall, one over 21. Uh, again, negative two, when we have seven copies of a negative, that's gonna make a negative overall, but we're already subtracting, so let's make that one addition. And then we see uh, two to the seventh power is 128, and our denominator is gonna be 21. All right, a little bit of combining these together, and we have it. Already have a common denominator, so that's nice. We can go ahead and say negative 1 plus 128 is 127 over 21. And there we have it. We've uh, used u substitution method to go ahead and integrate this definite integral. We plugged in our values. We simplified down. There we have it. Hope this helps. Good luck on them.